Well, if you're one of my YouTube subscribers that knows me, maybe you've taken classes with me on information technology or something, you'll know that I am not afraid to admit when I've made an error. And I made a little boo-boo in my Windows 11 videos. When I taught you the uh, snap, what are they called? They're called snap layouts. When I showed you the snap layouts feature, and I told you how excited I was about this feature because I'm going to be using it every day in my classes that I teach for Splunk. I forgot to show you what's kind of like almost a no brainer, but Microsoft does give it an official feature name that's related and it's called Snap Groups. And it is just a reference to something you've probably already seen. But to make sure you're taking advantage of all these new Windows 11 features, here is your official video on Snap Groups. Enjoy. So as Matthew McConaughey is famous for saying, all right, all right, all right, let's see it. And uh, we get to review our snap layouts. So uh, you can see that I'm working in Excel. You can see that I'm working in, uh, what's this called? Google Chrome. And you can see that I'm working in Paint. And if you're wondering, did he just randomly open three applications for this demonstration? The resounding answer is yes. That's exactly what I did. All right, so I wanna take advantage of the snap layout. No problem, I'm gonna hover my mouse over the uh, maximize button, and I'm gonna see a particular layout that works for me. And I'm gonna realize I would like paint down there. And then over here, uh, in the big panel, I want my web browser. And then up here in the other small panel, I want my uh, Excel information. So now I have arranged these windows so that I can be working with them all at once. And of course, it doesn't work all that great uh, with Excel size that way, but you get the idea. This would be an appropriate uh, application and I just resized it accidentally. So let me put it back where it belongs. That's a nice feature there. And now you can see, yeah, I could modify this so I could navigate it a little easier, right? I think I would have to like click in a cell and use the down arrow, well, whatever. I picked the worst possible application for this demonstration as Excel doesn't wanna work all that well in a tiny window, but whatever. That's not the point. The point is, what about these snap groups? What is this all about? Well. It's just a way to describe working with these windows as a group. Watch how this works. If I take my mouse and I hover it over one of the applications in the taskbar that is participating in this snap group, what we're going to see is we're going to see that I have an option for the app by itself. And then I have an option for, you guessed it, the snap group. So what this is going to enable us to do is like right click and minimize the entire group. And now if I want to restore that entire group, you guessed it, I roll my mouse over one of the group participants again, and now I can just click on that snap group. Notice that if you hover your mouse uh, over, uh, now I have to pick a different app of the group actually to, to see the group. That's kind of interesting. But yeah, when I roll over the snap group again and I right click, we also have some group settings. So this is how you have options for controlling this snap behavior. Notice that this is snapping of windows in general but obviously there's many of these that reference snap layouts. For instance, whether or not you want the snap layouts shown when you hover over the maximize button. Yeah, I mean, obviously if you turn that off, you're essentially turning off that snap layout feature, right? So just really cool how we do have some controls 
on this feature. So that's it. Yeah. Uh, when I was teaching Snap Layouts, I failed to talk to you about Snap Groups. It is marketed as like an additional feature. Uh, you know, Microsoft speaks about Snap uh, Layouts and Snap Groups as related but separate topics. And there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this brief video where I get to correct a little uh, oversight in an earlier video. Thanks so much for watching, as always.